Good morning, everyone. It is 922 right now. Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here. And, you know, jobs are so important for our everyday lives. But sometimes you have to be a little careful before reaching out and trying to establish yourself with a new job. And thankfully, there's a company that is out there that's able to help us in this quest, Jackie. Absolutely. Everybody wants to be a superstar oh, here yeah. in uh, central Iowa. And you have an opportunity to do so with an organization known as the Peak Agency. Uh, so we're very excited to have owner Stephen Myers joining us here in studio this morning. Yeah, Thank you for, for being here. Yeah. Okay, first of all, what is the Peak Agency? Uh, we're a model and talent agency, so we represent models and actors, about roughly 1,100 of them throughout Iowa and the Midwest, mm -hmm. and um, we book anything from commercial work to video to film, TV, uh, promotional, runway. I mean, now, how much experience does someone need to have in order to get involved in, in this as a, as a job, as a business? Um, you don't have to have a lot of experience. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of the industry and it's why it attracts so many people is you don't necessarily have to go and get a four year degree to get into the business. But um, it takes, you know, a lot of personality and charismatic people and outgoing. And, you know, it's nice to have the experience. I mean, we certainly look for people that have as much experience as possible. Uh, just because they're more marketable that way. But yeah, I mean, we have a lot of people that, you know, just get started in the industry in Iowa and have never done it before. Absolutely. Uh, so what you kind of mentioned different projects that you're involved in, but does this work really exist here in Iowa? A lot of times when you're thinking yeah. models and acting and think you, you think the coast, LA, New York, Yeah. but it exists here in Iowa. Believe it or not, it really does. It's funny because I hear that all the time is I didn't even realize that you could do this here. And right. you can. I mean, there is a lot of work. It's nothing that's going to keep anybody busy. I mean, of the 1,100 people I represent, nobody 1100? does it. 1,100? 1,100, yeah. I mean, nobody does it for a living though. They do this as a hobby. They okay. do it because they enjoy the industry. It's fun. It's, um, a change of scenery. I mean, a lot of these people work, you know, full-time jobs. They're stay-at-home parents. They're full-time students. They do this because they have a background in it. A lot of them went to school for it. Maybe they studied theater in, in uh, college, and they do it because it's it's spare money. It's it's something to keep doing what they love doing. Now, yeah. do most of these gigs happen here in Iowa, or do they send them places occasionally? Too? Well, most of our work is in Iowa because I work with Iowa-based companies. Okay. So we work with a lot of ad agencies and production companies that are here local. Um, but some of it's throughout the Midwest. The thing is, is that like you go to a Minneapolis or Kansas City or Chicago, there's already established agencies there that basically do what I do. So they kind of have those markets on lockdown. So my focus is, is of course, Iowa. Iowa. You could go to East Coast or West Coast and work a lot more for sure. I mm -hmm. mean, those are much bigger markets and there's more opportunities there. Um, is that the biggest difference be between working here and doing that kind of work and then being on the coast? Uh, what do you mean? like? Like uh, the difference between working here in Iowa and what we'd experience if we were in LA or New York. Yeah, well, yeah, types of work mostly. Um, industry is pretty similar, but yeah, you get East Coast, West Coast, it's more, you get a lot more TV work and film. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more, you know, fashion oriented work. So if you're in the modeling side of the industry, obviously fashion doesn't exist in Iowa. I mean, it does a little bit. There are certainly people in the industry, but it's not quite like being in you know, New York or LA, of course. So what can somebody expect if they came to you and, and talked to you about getting into the industry? What should they expect first and foremost? Um, well, what we would do is we would try to figure out what it is that they really want to do, what their focus is, the type of work that they want to do, and then go from there. So I, I mean, we look for people that are genuinely interested in the business. You know, we get a lot of submissions from people that they're like, oh, you know, my mom said I should do this, or my dad, or my best friend, or grandma tells me that I'm, you know, great looking. Well, that's that's great. I mean, but, you know, th th we want people that actually are passionate about the industry and, and want to do it because it's a job. I mean, a lot of people think that it's just fun, but it's actually, you know, it's a it's a job just like anything now, else. Now, do you ever go out and, and scout for people, or do you wait for them to come to you? Well, we're... I mean, we're so well established in Iowa at this point that a lot of people already kind of know about us, so mm -hmm. they naturally come to us. We probably average now anywhere from 15 to 20 submissions and referrals every single day that we every day every day that we'll look through. Um, wow. So we don't do a lot of scouting unless it's something we're really specifically looking for, which does tend to happen. I mean, there are certain ethnicities and age groups that we just lack and that we book a lot in Iowa. So we're always on the lookout for that, but we don't do you know your typical scouting events. You know, you always hear about well, I was you know found at a mall or found on you know Instagram or this and that. There are some companies that will scout that way. Bigger markets, you'll see that. It's more common in New York and LA because they want something very specific. You know, in Iowa, we're a very commercial market. And so 
pretty much anybody can do it in Iowa. I mean, they look for real Midwest Iowa people here, not you know what you'd expect to see in the fashion industry. So our scouting works a little bit differently. Um, I always kind of caution people if they're being approached in you know a mall or being asked to come to you know a hotel to do you know a scouting event or if you hear it on the radio. A lot of that, a lot of that stuff that you hear, they typically have something to sell you. Because um, there are scammers out there in oh, this yeah. business. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that will take advantage of people's dreams to be in the industry. And what they'll do is they'll find a way to tell you exactly what you want to hear. And they'll charge you, you know, money up front to get involved or to be represented or to take required classes or do expensive photo shoots, that kind of stuff that, you know, a lot of times isn't even necessary or, you know, what you need in order to get into the business. And so, you know, if they're not local, I always tell people to be very careful. If they're asking for money up front to get into the business, run the other way because it's not how agencies work. Agencies work on commission. We make money when our talent actually works. So, okay. yeah. so what do what do people need to have to come to you? Say maybe somebody's watching right now and they're saying, mm -hmm. May, and this is this is piquing my interest. Maybe I want to come over and visit with you. Do they need to, do you need to bring a portfolio of photos or they just need to come visit with you first? Yeah, well, they could do one of a couple things. We have actually a submission form on our website. So if they go to the website, click submissions, there's a link that um, asks for specific info that allows us to kind of weed through the submissions. And then from there, what we would do is set up a meeting. They're welcome to email us too. They can send an email to scout me at thepeakagency.com and it's basically a, a, an email link that you can send information to. What we re basically request is um, you know, contact info, sizes, some recent photos. It doesn't have to be professional photos, just snapshots. Of course, any experience that somebody has that they can list out is always helpful too. So. Wonderful. So that's the best way to reach out and yes. maybe get this website project is the best way. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. wonderful. And who knows, you might be an upcoming model or in the next commercial that people see on TV. Might be. Yeah, there you go. I just love hearing that that work is here because a lot of times you always think you have to leave Iowa to be in something that you're very passionate about. And you're like, no, the, yeah, the work it is really here. once again, it kind of depends on what you want to do. We have a lot of people that do leave Iowa. I mean, they want to do this more as a career and they want right. to pursue this, you know, full time. And so I always tell them that's great. You've got to you've got to think about getting into a bigger market. And we help a lot of people by placing them in bigger markets. So I'll help facilitate setting them up with a different agent in another market. But uh, you know, if you, if you want to work more, you, you definitely have to leave. Okay. I always tell people, you know, pursuing modeling and acting in Iowa is like pursuing a snowboarding career in Florida. I mean, it's not the first place you would probably go if that's what you wanted to do. And Iowa isn't either, but you can get a start here, which is great. Absolutely. But again, one of the, the cautionary things we want to mention today, be wary of some of these people that are asking you to come in and put some money down yes. in order to get into the business. Yeah. If they're not local or they're asking for money, they most likely can't help you. Um, they have one thing in mind, and that's for your check to clear, and then they disappear. But especially companies that aren't here, if they're not from Iowa, they don't have a brick and mortar, they don't have an office here, they don't have your best interest art. I mean, yeah. they're looking for whatever they can do to get money out of you and that's it. All so. right, remind us the website one more time if people would like uh, to learn more. Yeah, website www.thepeakagency.com. Wonderful, thanks right. for joining us this no morning. Problem. All right, you. folks, don't go too far, we'll be right back.